looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got the 32 brand new team standout players. We got the NFL, the or the 50 revealed those players. All three of them. Those do come out closer to around two o'clock, as you guys do already know. But still going to go over them in this video, of course. And we do have a free standout player, which I will be getting to in just a moment. Let me open this pack first and see if I can pull one of the LTDs out of here. We know we're never going to, but I did see people do it, so now I'm kind of interested. To test my luck just about every morning. I have a few Twitch packs as well that I do want to get into, but I will say that for a little bit later in the video. Guys, if you're into the channel, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, boys. And if you want to have a chance to be shouted out in the Poodle Squad as well, still applies. Turn on the noti bell, like the video, and all you got to do is comment down below Poodle Squad. Now, for today's Poodle Squad, uh, squad shout out goes to Hurlbert. Shout out to you, Hurlbert, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Greatly appreciate it. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get into this video. We have a lot to go over. Let's head over to the new team standouts, which are all the way. Here we go team standout so we have 32 players so earn exchange team of the week players to earn an 89 overall team standout player so we got kyle fuller for the bears william jackson for the bengals josh allen for the bills josh Simmons for the broncos now we saw this already these are the guys that we knew now for the for the browns we got kareem hunt now that's pretty cool i was i, I was pretty was pretty confident we we're gonna get kareem hunt for that jason pierre paul for the Bob buccaneers kyler murray for the cardinals that's super cool austin eckler for the chargers Le, Legere Sneed for the Chiefs, Darius Leonard for the Colts, Alden Smith for the Cowboys, Jerome Baker for the Dolphins, Brandon Graham for the Eagles, Calvin Ridley for the Falcons, Fred Warner for the Niners, Blake Martinez for the Giants, Miles Jack for the Jaguars, Marcus May for the Jets, Deron Herm Harmon for the Lions, Alan Lazard for the Packers, Shaq Thompson for the Panthers, Julian Edelman for the Pats, Derek Carr for the Raiders, John Johnson for the Rams, and we got Chuck Clark for the Ravens, John Bostick for the team. Alvin Kamara for the Saints, DK Metcalf for the Seahawks, is a mouthful. Mike Hilton for the Steelers, Ben Ardrick McKinney for the Texans, Kenny Vaccaro for the Titans, and Eric Hendricks for the Vikings. Now, those are all 32 players. Guys, you set yourself explanatory. You put in Team of the Week players, 86 to 88, and then all 82 to 84 is here, and then you go 78 to 80s, and then so on and so forth, and you fill them up. So if you have a lot of those, probably could be taking a lot of advantage of those right now. Now, let's head on over to the solos. Go show you guys that real quick so you guys can have an idea. Now, if you're coming over to the solos, Let's see what we're rocking with here. Coming on over. Let's go all the way up to wherever that is. Like any of these players you do see in this video, the 50 coming out later or anything, or these 32 team standouts and you need coins, head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Coins are discounted, players are discounted, and you can buy these directly on there and you get training to power them up as well. Make sure you use code Poodle for an additional 15% off and take advantage. And out series two, play through a highlight moment from each team standout player. Complete all 32 challenges to earn your choice of an 89 overall standout player in that to add to your team. See the team standouts mission and team affinity for more information. Now, I will be making a video later, probably ranking all the, like, the top five or 10 best ones to take. So make sure to check that out later on. If you guys want to see that, smash the like button on this video. Let me know you want to see a rankings video going over them. Now, let's go check out the stats on some of these cards. We'll hide on over, show you guys a few things. And then, of course, we're going to go check out the 50 players and the screenshots of those. But if you guys, like I said, do want to see the rankings, make sure to let me know down below in the description. I will rank my top 10 players. I think you should be taken from that. So. Let's filter this out by team standouts and see. I mean, of course, people have to do the sets, but I imagine there's quite a few probably on there. So, Deron Harmon. I'm going to go over the ones I want to check out. So, Kyler Murray's definitely an interesting one. Let's see. He's got 89 speed, 90 throw power, 85 short accuracy, 82 medium accuracy, 83 deep accuracy, 82 throw under pressure, 88 throw on the run, 82 play action. This card's looking pretty solid. I mean, the passing is not great. He kind of looks like a, a budgety version of Vic for the most part. I don't think he's going to be a top like quarterback in the game, but he's definitely a great, great card. I mean, powered up and chemed up, gonna be pretty, pretty great. Uh, not gonna hit any throwing thresholds, unfortunately, which kind of that kind of sucks, but still a good card. Let's see. So Miles Jack's interesting as well. I wonder if they gave him some speed here. Let's see. He's got 86 speed, and what's his zone coverage? That's gonna be interesting as well to see. 80 change of directions, not too great. 82 zone. Okay, so he's like a decent, well-rounded zone guy. Not, not nothing too crazy in that card as well. Um, let's see what other cards are looking interesting. DK Metcalf, we saw. Probably going to be fast wide receiver in the game if you power him up. Kareem Hunt. Interesting one. I want to see what they gave him for speed. Only an 88 speed. Not too great. Of course, he can be powered up, though. So, 89 speed is decent. Let's keep moving on along and seeing what else looks interesting here. Um, Josh Allen, we've seen already. Alden Smith, probably a great pass rusher. Let's see. Let's see. Chuck Clark. I'm kind of interested to see what they gave Chuck Clark here. Chuck Clark has an 89 speed, 88 zone. I mean, sorry, 86 zone, 88 hit power. 80s. 80s. Clark uh, was pretty solid, not gonna lie, the card was pretty decent, very, very well-rounded, 
there's a lot of good safeties in this game, but I mean, wouldn't wouldn't be against someone using him. Let's see Austin Eckler. I wonder if they did him right with speed or if they made him slow as well. I feel like they always make receiving backs slow. And he gets the 89 powered up. Not bad at all. Again, a very well-rounded back. Again, you can go through these and check them out. I don't want to go one by one. This will be here forever. Obviously, pick the ones you want. Take a look. I will be ranking them later for you guys. which is where I'll be going through all those stats for all of you. Calvin Ridley. That's an interesting one. What speed did they give Calvin Ridley? At least a 90, right? 91 speed so he does get a 92 speed which means he does get the deep route running threshold with go deep which is pretty good he's he's okay he's gonna be like tyree kill he's gonna be like a better uh, very similar to tyree kill not not the biggest a difference there uh kind of upsetting i wish his route running was a little bit better because in real life he's a really really great route runner and let's check Derek carr is the other quarterback that was dropped in this um uh, good throw power bad bad throwing stats again gonna be like kyler murray just without speed so again rather, probably rather murray there and let's see if there's any more here that peak our interest to go. Oh, Marcus May. He's probably a pretty good free safety. Uh, let's check him out real quick. So Marcus May is going with 90 speed, uh, 80, 90 excel, 80 tackle, 89 zone, 85 hit power. He's very good. If you power up and come up, he has a good throw power. I mean, throw, throw power, good hit power. He's going to get a great zone coverage with great speed. He's going to have a 91 speed. He's a really good free safety. That's better for that. Let's go check out the 50 plays. You guys can check out all these on your own time as you guys, you know, Again, not all 32 are going to be interesting. A lot of you guys probably saw some of the stats already. So I'm just going over the, like, the good looking ones, but I will be ranking them later. So again, check that out. So first we have Steve Hutchinson, 92 overall left guard for the Seattle Seahawks. Nice to see him back in the game. 92 strength, 90 awareness, 89 pass block, 89 pass block power, 87 pass block footwork. For now, sorry. 92 pass, 92 run block, 92 run block power, and 89 run block finesse. Now, I'm going to be honest, a little disappointing on this card. I don't understand how this card's 92 overall and there's not a single stat above 92 as well as multiple stats below 90. Now, I feel like, I mean, again, powered up, he's going to head all the pass. That's the point of it, though. If powered up, he's going to get all the pass blocking, run blocking threshold besides one. So they're kind of enticing me to power him up. But still, doesn't add up. I wish he was maybe, these should have at least been 90 already. And this one could have been like an 87. That's fine. But still a really, really good lineman, of course. Not going to be bad at all. Going to be one of the, well, the best left guard. But might not be worth the price at first. He's got to be in the 200K range, like high 200K range, low 300 to even be worth it. He's going to be a quite a bit probably to start. He'll come down though very fast like Walter Jones did. Moving on, we got Brett Favre back in the game. It's always cool to see Brett Favre back. 76 speed for the Green Bay Packers. 93 throw power, 90 short accuracy, 87 medium accuracy, 89 deep, 91 throw under pressure, 91 throw on the run, and 89 play action. Now I have one issue with this card. That's going to be the medium accuracy because most people use go deep. That he won't get the threshold for that, which is going to suck, which has been an issue for many people this year. But power up and count up, guys, his throw power can literally get up to, I think, like a 97, 98, which is unreal. But again, Vic can kind of get there too, which is why Vic's just so overpowered because Vic doesn't get the throwing threshold on short, but that's it. He, he's going to have the deep just like Favre. He's going to have the same throw power almost as Favre, and he's going to have like a plus 15 speed on Favre. Everything's very similar. The only thing's gonna be the short accuracy, but again, I don't care too much for short accuracy threshold. You know, if you had the medium, it'd be different. But first, still amazing, gonna be super good if you use them in the right scheme, theme, or chemistries. If you use like a medium, because again, you can use the medium chemistry. If you go ahead and do like West Coast or Play Thick, whatever it is that gets medium, you do that one, he gets this regardless powered up. So you can go ahead and he will get all thresholds, like every single threshold you need for him. That's where he's insane. But again, most teams don't always use that, and then his throw power won't go up. So it's up to you there. Moving on to the last guy, we got DRC, which you guys probably saw yesterday. Now, DRC is going to be really, really good. 92 overall cornerback, 92 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, 91 jumping, 88 play rec, 91 man, 89 zone, 91 press. Now, this is a corner right here. Powered up and Kevin up going to have like a 90. You can get him up to like a 96 man coverage. Zone up to like a 94. You can get his press up to like a 94, 95. So, he's going to be one of the best coverage guy in the game. Play rec above a 90. So, he's going to be all threshold coverage, plus having a 93 speed and a 92 jumping. And I believe he's pretty tall as well, like six feet, six foot one or something like that. Maybe even six foot two. Guys, this card's insane. Best cornerback in Madden. Make sure you go pick him up. But that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you want a chance to be shouted out in the pool of squad, guys. And if you guys need coins to pick up any of these cards, he's going to need some coins. Make sure you're heading over to Mutt Reserve down below in the description. Make sure you use code Poodle. Coins are discounted, and you can buy these players directly on there. Use code Poodle for an additional 15% off. Make sure to take advantage, guys. And again, shout it out. Noted gang. Like down below and comment down below. Poodle squad. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.